I want to know your thoughts on Julian Assange. These, you know, cases uh, of Assange and Snowden are, you know, testaments to an overweening, you know, surveillance and security state. And that um, the, you know, one of the amazing things that happened lately, of course, was that that Donald Trump didn't reject pardoning Snowden outright, but said he would think about it. I think we have to look deeper at the way in which the uses of state power um, have been pretty bad long before Donald Trump, the fascist, ever arose. And someone like Assange, you know, um, is is testament to that. You, you may not agree with everything he's done, but the question that we should care about is: Should he be tried uh, under these statutes? Um, and I think the answer is pretty clear. WikiLeaks revealed true facts about, you know, um, electoral hijinks, not that the Russians were committing, though they've committed their fair share, but that the Democratic Party was 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 engaged in. Um, that wasn't post-truth. It was part of the truth that it was useful for us to know. Um, now, there, there's room for, you know, laws that protect privacy and protect property. Um, and he may have broken some, but, you know, there's also room for, um, you know, transparency and, you know, a, the public right to know and and, but above all, I think, you know, the question is, should we get punitive with these guys once we've seen the service they've done for the public? And I just think the answer is clearly no. Yeah. Um, it seems like, I mean, it, it's so mind boggling, although it shouldn't be, I guess, that how little attention the media is paying to this story. Right. And all the people who talk about Trump being an existential threat and being right. a, you know, an enemy to free press, freedom of speech, um, it just it drives me crazy that these same people are OK siding with Pompeo and Trump on this issue. When Obama, yeah. who these same, you know, Mick resistance people love and praise as a nuanced, rational thinker, respecter of the rule of law and the Constitution. Wh why aren't they siding with him? Right. Not that he was perfect on this at all. But first right. of all, they claim he was. And secondly, he right. did not pursue Assange on this issue. Right. Well, I, you know, it seems as if the red thread is that they oppose people who challenge their own power. Yeah. Uh, and that's that's the only way you can reconcile. Um, you know, the principles are often noble that are invoked. And that's that's there's something to, you know, celebrate about that. But then you demand that they're they're, you know, they're the people live by them less selectively. Right. Yeah. Also, uh, so many of the principles I feel like are often like the freakouts are often, I think, about decorum and, you know, yeah, I think that's fair. We're taking off the mask like here. I think that's me. fair. Yeah. I think that's fair. On, on the other hand, I think we should welcome it even when the invocations of principles are opportunistic, when people it kind of dawns on people once Donald Trump has powers we gave prior presidents that the powers themselves are bad. You see that to some degree in the war context, um, where a lot of you know right-thinking people say we need fundamental reform to the way we allocate war powers in this country, and the fact that you know they supported that allocation when it was George W. Bush or Barack Obama wielding it, and then kind of the scales fall from their eyes when Trump does. You know, it's 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 revealing, but it doesn't mean we shouldn't cultivate allies when we can right. agree that, you know, the power itself needs to be challenged. Yeah, totally. Yeah. The ultimate goal is not to own the libs as uh, having I mean, as satisfying as that is, right. you right. know, yeah. the, the outcomes matter more. Right. Yeah. No, I think it's true. I mean, I think people should, we all have different roles to play, but people should be invited to Correct. Uh, apply these principles, you know, universally or consistently.